guys, how's it going? It's Sight here, and we're back with a brand new episode of Apico. And in the last episode, we got started here with three different farms, or three different beehives. We got the commons, we got the... Uh, I can't remember what these guys... They had the weird name, like, Verg? Verg? Verge. And then the forest bees? There's still a queen in here? Hmm. Weird. Okay. Anyway, so we have three bees discovered, and I'm hoping what we can do today is learn how to actually start breeding them. But before we do that, even... Can I take stuff out of here? Blessed bee. Can I just take bees from these people? Uncapping bench. Extractor. What do these people have to say? Dr. Benjamin. Oh, it's you again. What do you want now? Hello, professor. So you decided to come back, huh? Thought you were too good to be a humble beekeeper. Pah, kids these days. Shop? Okay. He has treated frames, and royal jelly, advanced apiary. A larger apiary with more slots for frames, bees and apiaries can be crossbred. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. What does this guy want? Barnaby, what's buzzing, cousin? So everybody has their own little shop, which is interesting. Why would I want to buy bees from this guy when I have my own? Check the Apiaris Almanac to learn more. Is that what this thing is? A bees folio. Oh God. Crossbreeding flowers is easy. Your bees do all the work for you. When a bee visits a flower, it collects some pollen, seeds, and all sorts of other flower goop and takes it back to the hive. When using frames in your apiaries, this goop collects in the frame and gets all mixed together. Based on the flowers your bees visit, you'll get different seeds when you extract your frames. If you're lucky, the different seeds can mix, giving you new species hybrid seeds. Okay. You may have noticed some fluttering friends appearing around your flowers. Butterflies are not only great company, but great pollinators, helping to spread flowers similar to how bees do. When butterflies are in butterfly hotels, they can cause cross-mutation of their favorite flowers, leading to entirely new variants. If you're interested in learning more about butterflies, head west and find Dr. Stowe. Honey Rose. The Rosa Hydromella. Known for its sweet scent, the Honey Rose is the most common flower in the arch archipelago and is renowned by beekeepers for its marvelous calming effect on apiaries when smoked. Oh, and then it tells us what we get. We mix these together to get some bees knees. Bees knees, okay? And then we mix these two together to get some goldenrod. Cool. Okay, so there's all the stuff we need to know about the flowers for now. Beekeepers delight. This flower has no special effect. Honey lip. Where did I get this from? I don't even know if I've found any honey lip. Where did that come from? I don't see honey lip anywhere. Anyway, that's besides the point right now. Because we are trying to do beekeeping 101. Now you have some bees in a beehive. You can start breeding bees. To breed bees, place two bees in the left-hand input slots of a hive to create a queen. The queen will then get to work and start producing honeycomb. At the end of her lifespan, she'll produce cute little offspring. All bees produced in natural beehives will be direct clones of the queen. Time to make an army of beatrices. Oh my gosh, an army of beatrices. I think I might have lost Beatrice. I don't even know. Was she named? If she was, I think she's gone. <laughs> What did I do with her? Yeah, I think she's gone, but that's okay. We can make more. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to get 10 honeycombs and 10 common bees. I think we can do that already, probably. Uh, excuse me? What? Can we take these, please? There we go. 10 common bees. Okay, we got the 10 honeycombs. Two, four, six, eight. We need two more. Oh, never mind. We already did it. Okay, there we go. And you know what? Just for the sake of it, 
let's put some of these bees back. Okay, we can also breed these ones together, because why not? And we can do that, because why not? Okay, so what are we doing next here? Claim that. Pimp my hive. Now, honeycomb is delicious and crunchy. But there's far more useful things your bees could be producing. For that, you'll need to create your first proper apiary out of wood and some of that honeycomb you've been making. Once you have one, you'll be able to use hive frames for gathering produce from your bees. Plus, with an apiary, you'll not only be able to get different, more valuable produce, but you'll also be able to start crossbreeding different species. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, we have to make an apiary, and I'm assuming to do that we have to use the workbench. Uh... Uh, apiary, basic apiary, rehabilitator. <laughs> okay, let's just start with this. We can make that. You know what? Let's make a couple of those, because why not? And then, are we supposed to make a bee box? Is that the other thing we needed to make? Whoops, wrong button. No, a wooden frame. How the heck do I make a wooden frame? Oh, it's this thing right here. Oh no, we need more we need more beehive stuff. We need more honey. More honeycomb. Whatever it's called. Wow, these guys are living forever. Oh you know what? It's probably because the game's paused when you're when you're in that other menu. Okay, so these guys are also producing honey for us, which is good. I forgot about that. We have more than we have more than one type of beehive. Give me your honey, bees. Okay, perfect. Look at them go. Now, can I make that thing? There we go. We got our first little... Our first little hivey doohickey. So... And we should get... Belia's Almanac. What? What is this one? Okay. And what is this one? Oh my god, there's five tiers of bees. Discovering species. As you might already know, a new species can be discovered by crossbreeding different species. Hybrid queens have a chance to produce hybrid offspring, which have a chance to mutate into an entirely new species. Okay. You can use a predictor to see the potential offspring of a queen. This will, uh, this book will also give you hints on what species can be combined. You could probably ask Benjamin for help too. He might be grumpy, but he does know his stuff. Every bee has a set of traits depending on their species. When you crossbreed bees together, the queen inherits a mix of traits from both bees. Okay, so green is lifespan. This determines how long lifespan will be. So we probably want short lifespans. Productivity. This is how much honeycomb or, or frame products a queen's hive will produce. Higher productivity means more goodies. Okay, so we want green to be down, I think. We want yellow to be up. Red is fertility how many offspring a queen will produce at the end of her life. Higher number means more babies. Okay. So we want green to be down, I think. I, I don't actually know. Maybe we want them all to be up. If the queen's alive longer, does that mean she's producing for longer? I don't actually... I don't actually understand the... why the lifespan matters. Part 2. Stability. This is how stable a species is. The lower the number, the more chance a mutation can occur in hybrid offspring. That's the bottom one? Yeah, that's the bottom one. The blue one at the bottom. Okay, behavior... Oh, they missed the chance to put a bee pun in there. Behavior. This is the time of day a queen is active. Can be diurnal day, nocturnal night, crep crepuscular? <laughs> Or cathermeal. Cather... Cathemeral. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying. Climate. This is the climate a queen prefers. Can be temperate, tropic, or polar. Polar bees? Huh. These bees love the rain and will be hard at work even on rainy days. Snow lover. These bees love the snow. Aggressive. These bees are grumpy and you won't... And, and won't work with you unless you use a smoker with their favorite flowers. Okay. By this point, you might be thinking, wait, are these guys trying to sneak in actual biology into a game? The answer is yes. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. As mentioned earlier, when you crossbreed two bees, the queen form inherits a random mix of dominant and recessive traits from the parents. Oh, boy. Here we go. 
When a queen makes offspring, they too inherit a random mix from the queen's dominant and recessive traits. By crossbreeding, you can get certain traits onto species that wouldn't ever get them naturally. Okay, when you use a microscope, you can see the dominant traits as well as any recessive traits. So what does that mean exactly? Like, does that mean that this four is a recessive trait? That can be passed on and this one is a dominant five i think the ones with numbers are dominant and the ones with the little hashtags are recessive maybe i i here we go biology all over again apis communia common bee the common bee is found practically everywhere on the archipelago a generally friendly, dependable, and well-rounded species. It forms the backbone of our modern agriculture. Apiculture. culture. Special produce, bee pollen. Used by many as a homo homeopathic medicine. Personally, it just makes me sneeze a lot. Okay, so obviously, forest bee and that guy. Verge bee and that guy. Okay, so we're going to have to start breeding these things together. And I don't fully understand how that whole system's working yet. But I think it's going to start with us putting down some apiaries. Maybe I'll keep them a little closer to our flowers. And we can take a common bee like this guy. Come here. Come, come, come to me. Go in here, please. And see, he's got a recessive five. Really short life. I guess I should say she, right? All bees are girls. Is that how it works? Or is it ants? Or is it both? I don't even know. Let's just pretend that all of these are girls. Um, so is it good to mix and mingle? These all look the same. All of these bees, well, they're not all the same. Some of them have recessive traits. Oh, this one's just straight up better. So maybe we'll take this one with the five, because that is, I forget, productivity? Or reproductivity, something like that. We'll take it. And then... I guess... I don't know if we want queens with short lives or long lives. I feel like short, because that's when we... Is that when we get the honey? I'm not sure. I think that's when we get the honey. Or maybe they just produce honey all the time, and the longer the queen's alive, just the better. You know? I don't actually know. Let's put this thing in here, because we can. Oh, we can fit two more of those in there. Okay. Well, if we can make more, we can only actually make one more right now. Because I don't have enough honeycombs, but that's not bad. It's at least getting us started. So, you know what? Maybe instead of this bee, let's get one with the maximum tier stats that we can. And let's just try to max these things out. Maybe we want like 7777 seven, seven, seven all the way down. I don't know. All right, so I think we have our two Bs. This one's a 4445, four, four, and this one is a 4354. I, I don't know. I think this is about as good as it's gonna get. So there we go. We have a verge common queen. And it Oh, it's going to need something to breed with, isn't it? Oh wait, no, because it should give us some offspring that we can use. Okay, that should be fine. We're going to need some more honeycombs. Honeycombs. All of our bees are sleeping right now cuz it's the middle of the night. Just kind of sad. There's a little trader dude. Maybe we can buy. Can we buy those honeycombs from someone? Maybe we can. Shop. Nope, not there. Wait, we can take this guy's honeycombs? No, we can take his bees though. What's the point of blessed? We haven't actually figured that out yet, have we? What's in the box? I'm betting at this point every crate you own is brimming with bees. While good for storing your items, they're not the most efficient way to store bees. Bee boxes can be used to store an unlimited amount of a single species neatly stored, sorted by their traits. 
Oh. Oh, that sounds useful. Maybe we should make one of those. A bee box. Oh, God. It takes an apiary and a crate. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. Maybe we should sleep until day so that our bees actually do stuff. There they go. They're out and about. Living the dream. The bee dream. Okay, no one's making us any honey yet. Lifespan. 222 seconds remaining. These ones are just plain old empty. We're gonna need a good forest bee as well. 4344. Oh, this one's a four, kind of four, four, four. That's our best bee yet. Okay, so I guess while we're waiting for more honey, I can, wait, what's this bar down here? Is this how many bees I've discovered? That sure looks like what it is. Okay, so I want to go and maybe gather up a few more bees here. Because the more hives we have, the more honeycombs we're going to get. So let's do that. Take these guys with us. And I thought there was another hive somewhere. There was another hive somewhere over here. Maybe there's not. There's this thing. What is going on here? Can I even... Can I get in here? What is this? Uncommon bee, verdant bee, vibrant bee, forest idol. Can be used to pray to the hive mother. I don't know if I want to do all that right now. Interesting though that we can do that. Okay, so I'm just going to run around and gather a few more things to my... Uh, uh, what? Wait, did I just get a new bee? What the heck? Apis rarus. To the casual observer, Apis rarus is in indistinguishable from the common bee. To learn scholars, differences in thorax patterns, wings, and vibration signals the start of a new genetic path for the common bee. Okay. Conservation status lost. Oh my gosh. Is it the only one of this type that we have? Uncommon queen. Common queen. Oh my gosh. So we just found a rare bee. I should probably take this back and try to save its life because it sounds like there isn't any more of these left on this island. That's not good news. So we'll stick that little girl in here. Let her do her thing. And I guess, can I stick another hive up here? Is it gonna fit? It is gonna fit. Okay, common bee. Uncommon. Uncommon. Ooh, those are uncommon. Okay, we'll put this one in here then. And we'll keep all of our uncommon bees together for now. We're gonna need a whole bunch of bee boxes. I'm gonna need like one bee box for every bee at some point. Which is going to be a lot. But I think it's going to be worth it. Oh, what's this? Filled wooden frame. How do I get stuff out of here? Can I take things out? Game? Please? Crossbreeding uncapping frames? Instead of making a honeycomb, bees in an apiary will slowly fill up any frame you've put inside and instead. When filled, you'll need to uncap the frame before you can extract any of the goodies inside. Craft an uncapping bench and open it up. Place a filled frame on any of the left side input slots and you'll see a handle. You also get some nice goopy propolis, which we will be needing later. So I think... I know we can make one, but I think this guy up here also just had one. Is that what... Uncapping? Is that what this thing was? Uncapping bench? We can just borrow his for now. There we go. Whoops. Okay. And then what? Did we... Huh? 
Why is it still looking all weird? Uncapped wooden frame. How do I... Do I have to recap it again? <laughs> oh, time to go back to the... Oh, oh. Why can't I claim this? Oh, we need 10 more. That's why. Okay. Or not 10 more. We need 10 total. Five more. So now that we've done that, can we put this... No, it won't go back. Very strange. Also, I'm sad. Because we bred those bees together and all we got out of it was a single verge bee. Which is not what we wanted. Now we gotta make more. Okay, so what's next? What's in the box? Oh yes, we have to make a bee... A bee box still. And we need to make an apiary. Oh, we still need more honeycombs for that, though. Ay, caramba. All right, guys. So I have another one of these frames that we have to clean up really quickly. I, I mean, we may as well just use this guy's apiary. You know, why not? Why not use it, right? So we'll take all this stuff out of here. I don't know what to do with this stuff after. Oh, no. We needed 10 and they only have nine. Ah, uh, darn it. Okay, well, we can still make... We can make a beehive. We can make... Uncapping bench, extractor... Hang on. What happens? Uncapping, crossbreeding... We should probably... You know what, let's just make one of these boxes. So that we can figure out what the heck we're doing. We need a large crate. Which we make right here. There we go. And then we can make this thing. There we go. That is going to give us 10 more honeycombs for free. Perfect. And then I guess to get these things going... I guess we can just start putting our common bees in here. All of our extra ones? Maybe? I don't actually know. We'll put all of our extra commons away. Any that aren't being used. Oh, that one can stay. We're going to need two at least to make a new queen. There we go. And let's get all of these guys put away. Okay. Okay. Well, there it is. Does it organize them? Not really. I mean, it kind of organizes them, but I was hoping it would do it like best to worst. It just kind of... It seems kind of random how it's organizing them. Three... Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it's figuring out the order to put them in, but it is figuring out some order. At least they're being kept together now, so that's good. And now we should be able to start our next mission, crossbreeding. Now that you have an apiary, you'll be able to start crossbreeding. When you create a queen, a queen in an apiary, it will inherit a selection of traits from both bees and can become a hybrid. Craft a predictor to help predict offspring traits. A predictor. Craft a predictor. Okay, what does that look like? This thing right here. Yoink. We'll put that somewhere. Predictor. Okay, now what we want to do is get one of our bees. How about this? Four, four, four. See, these are the same and they're not stacking. Oh, because the recessive stuff. I see. Okay, so we'll take... Wait, what's going on here? Oh, you can pick what you want as an output? Does it... Will it automatically fill stuff for us at some point so we don't have to do it? That would be kind of cool. So we'll take this. And let's just breed these things together for now because we can. Breed these together now because we can. And let's get... Well, we've already got this Verge Bee. So let's take it and put it in the predictor. And just take a look here at what the heck is going on. Oh, this is not a queen. 
Oh, we have to put queens in there? Well, let me... Let me try something then. Put that in there. 25, 50, 50, okay. And so... Okay, so obviously a purebred queen, which it says in the bottom right corner, is only going to produce verge. <laughs> that makes sense to me. So now what we have to do is try to crossbreed. Let's put this queen away. And let's try to crossbreed these two in here. And just see how that goes. We're going to need some more of these wooden frames. Maybe we'll make three. Just because we can. There we go. And now if I take this guy and put him in here or her. Ah, see, we've got. What is this? A 50% a chance? 50% chance to be common verg. Verge. 25%, 25%. And we, okay, so we have a chance to make a new bee here, it looks like. Let's put this thing back and see how it goes. Oh, this says to get started crossbreeding a common and a forest bee into a common forest queen and see if you can get a verdant. So we're already off to a bad start because that's not what we did. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need a common and a forest. So we'll take this guy and this guy. And we'll put them in here. And those guys will make us a new queen. There we go. Now we've got a forest common and we also have a common bird. Perfect. Guys, check this out. This extractor over here says used to extract bee produce from uncapped frames. So I'm thinking that's where I have to put these things. Wait, what? Do we have to... Oh my gosh, we have to crank this thing. Oh, wow. Okay, so that uses durability. And we just gave this guy three uh point point oh three of a bucket of honey what the heck is all this stuff bees knees seeds honey briar seeds oh okay we have new seeds can i just plant these wherever i want question mark mm, doesn't look like it is there a hoe how do I plant crops? I guess we haven't got to that point of the game yet. I'm just happy that I got these things empty now because we can reuse them over here. So that makes me a little happy. We've got an extra flower here. Let's just plunk it down. We have 30 extra honeycombs. I wonder if we should start making some new equipment. I guess we could make an uncapping bench and an extractor of our own glue. Mm, I don't know where to get glue from. Okay, it looks like our bees are done. Let's see what we have. A common bee, a verg common bee, and a verg bee. Uh, well, I guess we're gonna put these together to make another verg common. And what did we get here? Common, forest, and forest. Darn it, guys. That is not what we wanted. We wanted a new hybrid bee. Now we have to keep waiting. So this bee here says use a microscope on this species to learn more. And I see a microscope here. So I don't know what's going to happen when we do this. Three, four, four, four. Wait, how come I can't save it? Use a microscope on this bee to learn more. I've already done that. 
It's already been done. Why are you telling me to do it some more? I don't fully understand. There's this really handy button here that's quick, quick queen button. So I don't even have to pick the bees that go in there. You just hit that button. Maybe I gotta scan more of these things. You just hit that button there when it shows up and it just makes a queen for you. Like, whoop, bam, now we have a new queen being made. Perfect. It's speeding up our production. So let me try to scan some of these other ones. We've got three of them. Maybe one of them. Three, four, four. Normal stable. Okay. What's this one? Oh, traits unlocked. Okay, so maybe we did have to just scan the right one. Three, four, four. Fertile, fertile. Stable, normal. Ah, okay, so I guess once we scan a certain number of them, it unlocks the little stat bar up there for them. So that's good. Now that we have that, we can, I guess, monitor how our com uncommons are doing. These are uncommon bees. We have... 49 honeycombs. It's almost time to start making some more apiaries, I think. Because we can... We can start mass producing some of this stuff. All of my wooden frames are filled. Maybe it's time to do something with those as well while we're waiting. And that should get us the new... The new perk that we're waiting for as well. Can I... I could probably put some stuff in there. Why not, you know? Okay, we'll get this. That's gonna get us... Yeah, the the goal that we're looking for. Come on. There we go. Let's take all of this stuff. And is this filled, filled, filled? Let's uncap all of these really quick. Okay, and then let's do a real quick... Real quick check here. Uncapping frames. Claim those. Extracting honey. With your uncapped frames, you can now spin them senseless in an extractor and shake them down for every last drop of honey. You'll need to put uncapped frames in the left input slots. You'll see another handle appear. This time, you need to pull down the handle to start spinning the extractor. The faster it spins, the quicker it will process your frames. When a frame is spun completely, you'll get a whole bunch of items based on the species of the bee as well as honey. Finally, right? Okay, so... I guess it's probably time to start making our own because I don't want to give those guys all of our honey. That's kind of annoying. I think I want to keep the honey for ourselves. So we can put these away. Put these away. And all of these guys need new queens. Damn. Alright. Oh, that one also needs a new queen. <gasps> Did we do it? We did it! Undiscovered bee. Click to learn more. Oh, yes. What do we get? What did we get? Apis Claris, a vibrant bee. The vibrant bee has evolved a way of a way to cool itself using water from the environment, allowing it to operate at a slightly higher metabolic rate than its common cousins. Cool. Fill frames using the species to learn more. Very cool. Okay, so if we breed... Uh, maybe we don't want to breed that guy. Do we want to breed this guy? I guess if we do, we have a chance to get a vibrant one back, I'm assuming. Oh, and we did the same thing here. What did we get? What did we get? A verdant bee. The verdant bee was the first domesticated bee species in the archipelago. Breeding the verdant bee is a common rite of passage for many new beekeepers. Starting their apiculture journey. Woo! Okay, so now we have verdant bees. We should be able to breed those together to get a new verdant bee. Which is awesome. That should start giving us new queens. What's going on with this guy? Vibrant verge. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so what I want to do coming coming up soon is make more of apiaries but I also want to make the uncapper and the extractor so that we don't have to give that guy all of our honey 
But I think we're gonna have to do that in the next episode because this one has gone on for quite a while. I've been I kind of just got excited and lost in the game, but Anyway, we're going to wrap up this episode right there. I hope you're liking the series so far. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you next time.